Today on COC, we're gonna be upgrading our old broken seat belts. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the old seat belt here. So what you'll need in order to do that is 14 and 19 millimeter sockets and wrenches. Mm -hmm. So this uh, bottom bolt on the seat belt, if you've got a, uh, you're not supposed to do this, but if you have a swivel and a 19, you can actually get to this bolt from the bottom side. Uh, we have these covers that we made, so I can't get to the inside bolt. So I'm gonna have Francie hold the inside bolt while I take the big nut off from, under, uh, from underneath. So the next thing we need to do is take out the 10 millimeter bolts in the floor pan. So once you got your floor plate out, I'll turn you around here and we'll show you the next bolt we're gonna take out. See, there's your seat belt latch. There's a bolt there. And again, a 19 millimeter nut at the bottom. So inside this little pouch here, you'll have to undo, the, undo this zip tie, but it looks like it's reusable. It's got this little clip on it. So you can actually undo the zip tie. And you're gonna look for this connection here. This goes to your seat belt warning light on your dash. We're just gonna disconnect that. Maybe. So once we've got our seat belt out, we're going to take a grinder and uh, grind off this rivet. And that will give us something to attach our uh, seat belt loop to. two pieces separated except we're going to bolt this back to the machine and put our new uh, seat belt on it and while we're here we'll go ahead and uh, modify this wiring harness so that when we plug everything back in we don't have that seat belt light blinking at us So what I did was I took some heat shrink and I put it over the end of each wire so that way it'll be watertight and uh, the, the connections won't touch each other. And then I'll use another piece of heat shrink, fold it over, and we'll shrink it up again just to make sure it's watertight.
All right, so we'll go ahead and get this plugged in. We'll get our L bracket bolted in and we'll show you what to do from there. So we'll go ahead and get this plugged back in before we forget to. Then we'll take our bracket and we'll bolt it back in here the same way it came out. So the next thing I do is I come over here and I lay out the harness the way it's going to sit and grab your inside, <clears throat> grab your inside lap belt. You can see there's a hole in it. Uh, I, us I used an eight millimeter bolt and just make sure that your seat belt isn't twisted. Drop it into where your seat belt would no originally go. And we're just going to bolt that to that L bracket. So the next thing we need to do is get all of our wires pushed back in this pouch here and then reinstall our floor tray. All right, so now we're gonna take the other side of our lap belt and we're gonna bolt it to where the original one was down here in the corner. All right, so we got everything down below that we need to do. So now we'll uh, reinstall the seat and we'll move on to the top. So the next thing we need to do is reinstall the seat so we can get our upper straps done properly. We made a little video on how we did these seat extensions. They're a real nice upgrade if you want to check that video out. So we went ahead and latched all the belt buckles just so we knew everything wouldn't be twisted up. So now we're gonna go to the next step. So our application doesn't need this little hook here on the end, so we're gonna take it off. I'm just gonna throw it aside. Next, we're gonna take our buckle and pull it down and our strap needs to go under the bar now the SFI instructions say you should have this metal buckle as close to the bar as you can possibly get it so now we're going to go ahead and latch the buckle Right through this one. Now you can pull it as tight as you can get it. Now you're gonna thread it 
over the top and through this one. Just like so. And a helpful little tip, always tug on it to make it sure it's secure. <laughs> Alright, so let's check and make sure our little seatbelt light mod worked. So once you've got uh, your lap belt on and your chest belt on, in order to tighten these up, you just take kind of the leftovers here on each side and you just want to pull them down. Okay, so we added a lot of safety for what it would have cost to replace one seat belt. So let's go for a ride. Until next time, bye.